Today, we're looking at some important questions. No, let me say that a different way. Today, we're looking at two of the most important questions for human survival. How are we going to feed all of the people on planet Earth? And how can we feed them in a way that doesn't hurt the environment? Now, before you say to yourself, this is one of those large-scale problems with no good solution, let me say that there are solutions to this problem. And I think no one explains the solutions better than Jonathan Foley from the California Academy of Sciences. Take a look at this data about a world demanding more. It comes from an article by Dr. Foley, and it will help you understand the problem. By 2050, the population will increase by 35% to around 9 billion people. Yet, according to the article, we'll actually need twice as much food as we do now. Why will we need 100% more food for 35% more people? Well, people in some parts of the world are beginning to eat differently. More meat, more eggs, more milk. So we expect that animals will eat a lot of the food farmers grow. So, how can we get to that goal of 100% more food? Let's look at the five steps Foley suggests. First, we need to stop deforestation. We cannot cut down more forests for more farming. One of the worst things we can do is to burn rainforests to make space for growing more food. The earth needs the rainforests. Here you can see just how much land farming already uses. We grow crops on a total land area about the size of South America, and we raise animals on an area the size of Africa. That's a significant amount of land. That brings us to step two of Foley's plan, to grow more on the farms we already have. If we use better farming practices in parts of the world that already have the land for farming but are not producing a lot of food, and those places include parts of Africa, Latin America, and Eastern Europe, we can grow the food we need without destroying more rainforests. Step three of the plan is to use resources more efficiently. 70% of the water used across the planet goes to watering crops. We can be more efficient and more careful with water and other resources. Step four in Dr. Foley's plan is to change the way we eat. Take a look at this map. The areas in green show where most of the food feeds people. The areas in purple show where most of the food feeds animals or is used to make fuel, like the ethanol that's made from corn. As you can see, we use slightly more land and resources to feed people, about 55%, than animals, about 45%. But we can do better. The fewer animal foods we eat, the more food can go directly to feeding people. Finally, Foley says we need to reduce food waste. We've talked about food waste before in this course, so you know that about one third of food is wasted globally. What Foley is saying with his plan is this. We need to use every possible solution if we want to feed everyone and harm the environment less. Stopping deforestation is good. Growing more food on the farms we already have is good. Using resources more efficiently is good. Eating less meat and other animal foods is good. Wasting less food is good. In other words, we need to do all of these things. There is no single solution that will get us to our goal.